what is up everybody peace tab here welcome to the channel today we are playing conflict of nations and we are playing at the four times speed as indicated over here which means that every one hour in real life equals four hours in game or one day in game equals six hours in real time that's a weird explanation either way you get the point so here we are we have the wonderful country of Nigeria that we're starting with. This was one of the last three countries left in this game. So this entire game is filled with players. Total of 100 are in the game. Hopefully we will see um, a pretty good gameplay. Most likely we'll have to join a coalition. So that will be interesting to see how we play out. Ghana was still available next to me. Yep, Ghana is still unoccupied. Um, I think that's about it. I don't know. Amroom's taken. Inia's taken. Yeah, everything else around me has people on or already in control of it. That's okay. I actually don't mind Nigeria. We do have this nice little river here to help split up and fortify our western uh, flank or front, I guess you should say. Not really a flank yet. But off to the right, we have a lot. We do have this beautiful victory site right here which will give us much needed fuel because we are only producing 33 fuel an hour, which is uh, definitely not in our benefit. So we can try to grab that quickly before maybe uh, Chad gets some ideas or Niger. But we will see. Uh, we also got a good little mix of everything. We definitely need to get uh, Port Novo before... I'm definitely saying I was at Porto Novo. Definitely could be saying that wrong. Please feel free to correct me in the comments. But we need to grab that uh, to help boost us up. We also need to grab Andia. So we have a few areas we need to push into. Uh, for this gameplay, we're going to be focusing mostly on uh, ground units with a probably smaller naval presence just to help protect our coastal lines uh, until we get a little bit later in the game. But for now, let's actually start researching some of our basic infantry maybe actually no i think we're gonna go with the national guard only because we aren't that strong of a nation they are i believe the cheapest to produce if i had to produce any um individual units let's say 400 250 550 750 yeah, they are the cheapest uh, i could knock them out very quickly you only need to have a recruiting office and what else was it recruiting office and that's it so we're actually gonna start those right now to only take what is one day four out as for two so it should only take a little bit of time let me select just one there we go 31 game time minutes so four minutes down we're looking at less than 15 minutes for those to all be done that's fine with me uh we're gonna start researching the national guard uh, just units that we could pump out real quickly, real easy, save some money, and help us grab some early game. Some early beginning areas. Now, we will know that all these areas, so that there will be two people there, two people there, two there, two there, and two there. So we gotta be smart when we attack. I'm gonna try to get four, grab this first area, move this guy down, and we're gonna hover over in this region. I would really like to go get this fuel victory site, but we know just from past games that there is going to be a significant force there. And I do not have the resources, let alone the ability to sacrifice most likely both of these units and maybe even a third if I moved all of my combat recon vehicles and the one unit to push that, I would probably still end up losing it. And evidently someone like Chad or even niger will go and capture it so we're gonna have to hold off there is a chance it may be taken by somebody else if it is that's okay we'll look maybe down here come in the camera room see if we can grab that but we will see i do want to move one of these recon vehicles though to my unit over here just to give them a little of armored protection as they push into that region uh we already have one with this group so we don't really need two of those to grab candy but yeah I have a feeling that based off of uh, this area, Guinea, 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 is there a country called Guinea? Hold on. I 
guess that is Giddy. Okay. Might as well, it just looks weird. Anyways, sorry. So Giddy will probably have to go after Cynical. Uh, no players there. And he has the ability right here with his uh his jet that will be already given to him. It doesn't offer him a lot though. So I have a suspicion we may see um Guinea. I'm gonna keep calling it Guinea. Uh, I'm gonna keep calling it Guinea. Guinea's gonna try to push into Ghana with me once he sees me kind of go after these two areas, and we'll probably meet somewhere in these uh, middle cities. And about a uh, war of nutrition he definitely has the ability to do some more components as we see right here he can go grab this land get some more uh, supplies that will be useful for him and i just have to be mindful of that definitely want to grab these too early but now maybe we'll get grabbing this spot if i have to that's very convenient being kind of isolated up here so far away from the rest and having these mountains is going to make it hard for him to move his troops to go protect that region. I'm pretty sure. Yep, that's a direct line. So we'll see. We have a lot going on. We'll see if there's anything else that I can do. We have nothing queued. And we're going to queue building our National Guard units for all these areas. So we have them going as soon as those buildings are completed. Oh, uh, we can't because they're still being researched, aren't they? Okay. I take that back. I did forget that they take a bit longer than the basic infantry when it comes to uh, researching them. At least they seem they do. But that's fine. Ever air base. You have two harbors. We can wait on that. We're going to wait on it. Let's see if there's any uh, coalitions going on. Holy moly, there's a lot of coalitions. All right, well, is there any in my local area? Because I'm definitely going to need to grab on to a coalition early and hopefully uh, hang in there for a bit longer. Uh, South Africa, looks like they have an open spot. Who's in with them? Angola and South Africa, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, definitely a possibility. What else do we have? What is that? I don't know if I... Is that the Baltic States? Is that what that flag is? Is that the Baltics? No. In looks. I actually have no idea where that is. I need to look into that later. Oh, what else do we have? Okay. South Africa. Sure. Do we have anyone? Jesus. Do we have anyone else near me that... You know, oh, the Stark family. Look at that. We got a little like, Game of Thrones going on in here. Very nice. I'm okay with this. Anyway, ooh, who's this? Star Republic Morocco, okay, so it looks like we don't have any type of, I guess, Central African coalition going on just yet. At least not one that I'm noticing. Like, Guinea doesn't have one, Chad doesn't have one, does Niger have one? They maybe have, no. Cameroon, are you in one? Oh, alright, whoa, we actually may be able, oh, I already checked Niger, we checked Mali. Interesting. We may be able to go ahead and make our own coalition real quick. Seeing if any of these uh, players want to tag along. Oh, look at that. Ghana. Ghana got someone playing it. So now we got to be mindful of that. That Yes, we do have a small jump on them. And I'm sure they are expecting us to push in and attack them. But they can do the same to us. If we attack a little too quickly, aren't smart about our resources, uh, we will be in trouble. I'm actually going to take this. Yeah, and just go over here. Take my uh, air security jet, air security fighter, and uh, patrol this region just in case I become uh, Ghana's first victim. But with that said, let's start a coalition. A new coalition. Uh, I have this weird uh, coalition group I always go with, and that's called the Vendettas. So I'm going to call the African Vendettas. Now, I don't know why I've always liked the word Vendetta. It sounds fun. I usually pick either this flag or this one as my coalition's flag. Uh, this time, I'm going to go with the Eagle. And we're going to do the basic. You know, be active and play smart. And we'll see what happens. Okay, we are back and 
Yeah, I have a little bit of things going on. So we finished our coalition. Let's take a look at it. Be active and communicate. Central African. Hurry to join. And we already have the Republic of Congo who applied to our coalition. Republic of Congo. Right here. This uh, little jagged piece. It splits the river with DR Congo. And actually gives us a nice little wedge with Cameroon. And before I accept the men, I like to see kind of what their progression is. Uh, damaged arms industry. That's not good. I've damaged arms industry. Why damaged? Wonder if they came under a quick little attack, maybe, and then work. But either way, these little nation looks like they're building up pretty heavily. Going. Doesn't look like they're all that active. They don't have really anything built. Compared to Ghana, maybe? Ghana is always building up Air Force. Also, not doing that much either. Okay. So, we're sitting good. We have four units here. We have our four units here. Still have two up there. We also are almost done producing our National Guard. They're about 60. No. Yeah, about 65% of the way there. Uh, we're about 50% on our arms industry. To help massively once uh, those are done, to help boost up our. Overall components and fuel and all that fun stuff. We also have a message. So what do we have? What's oh we're gonna accept me, bro? I know how to play for sure. You know what? Public of Congo, you're in. Send a quick little message. We are going to add them into our into our coalition. Go from there. Message. Let him know he's accepted. A coalition. Boom! We are now coalition of two. He is going straight after Cameroon. All right then. Well, guessing if that's the case, I might as well take what I need now because he is splitting it up. He looks like he's not going to come after the, the high area, which makes sense, you know. He is passing through the one city because he needs to. That's fine. I'm going to go directly into Ghana with these two. And then once I grab those, I'm going to split them out and just grab everything I can in between. See if I can capture over these three cities to kind of secure them in my region. And uh, hopefully maybe stop Guinea from getting to them. And oh, what is this? Senegal is being eaten alive by Marantinia? Wow. That, not what I expected. I definitely thought Guinea was going to make a push there, but... They are not wasting any time. Part of a group? No. Okay. Well, that's good for now. We got that there, and I might as well help our uh, good friend Congo down here. Republic of Congo. Kind of tie up these loose ends, and honestly, we may just try to push for it. Push right in for the city, see what happens. We might get lucky. But so far, so, so good. I would like to get one more member, uh, Central African Republic, they're, you know, an AI system, they don't, any, they don't have anything, so they're not going to be a player. A uh, Chad, Chad's a big country, but they're not, it looks like they're inexperienced, they don't have anything built, no, uh, really have nothing besides this one, uh, combat outpost. That's interesting, this, they have up here, they have a field hospital. All right, someone is just testing the game out a bit. Niger kind of in the same boat. They don't really have anything going on. Nothing's being built. The capital only has their air base. That's good on my end, at least to my north and my south. Relatively safe. Looks like these players aren't too. Can you keep an eye in this region? Uh, Mali, they're building. So Mali is at least active to a point. And it looks like even Guinea isn't doing it. So we're sitting kind of nice. It looks like we're the only active uh, player kind of this whole region outside of Mali. And Mali is a good buffer between myself and Marantinia. So that's that's nice. That's a good good plus. I also have Niger as another buffer. So I think we're going to be okay. Move slowly in the beginning. Just kind of secure what we can. Uh, I'll probably make a push on this oil field and grab some of these other little cities that are going to help boost my supplies and boost my needs 
grow my military stronger. I... I'm gonna have to wait on researching my motorized infantry. Uh, but I will have my total artillery soon enough. And I believe those are actually level 2 cases. They are. So I need to also take the time to... An arms industry. Well, I'll have the arms industry. Okay, so I need to take the time to research army bases. I'm actually going to do that now. Put them as a queue. So as we step away from the game and come back to it tomorrow, that should be done and it will give us the option and the ability to move it along. I want to see what kind of forces he has. Four there as one new. One, so they're waiting a little bit. He has two there, so he's pushing with twos. Which is not too bad. Uh, he has four, five, six going on. Or Toya. Toya. No idea if I'm saying that right, so I'm just gonna. There's gonna be a lot of butchering of names. I am very bad at getting names right. So you guys can enjoy my. Horrific pronunciation of uh, basic words. I'm gonna move this aircraft a little bit closer. I'm gonna initiate the war with Ghana. They seem to be AFK, so I don't really mind it too much. Look at that, it's changing as I click. There we go. I don't mind too much. If they do come into play, they're probably gonna think uh, I'm only attacking this city because this one is gonna take some time to get up there. So the chances of them moving their units from here protect this region once i've already taken control of it uh will help kind of secure up here being just a weak two point a two point font two point enemy that work in my favor i'll be interested to see how this plays out because we are going through the mountain but this approach on the attack does not seem to be mountainous i should not lose any uh points for being stuck in the mountain because we do have a negative 20 percent attack mod I don't see mountain symbols here or here. I'm hoping that the reason why the game is kind of looking like this, and it's not just maybe a glitch or it's just not being displayed right, that this will be an equal battle. And if I need to, I could do a quick strike my air superiority jet and take out any units that are here and always weaken them so my unit has the advantage. But we'll see what happens. I might almost kill him all the way and die and he may decide to change his path right here city which is what it is if he ends up doing that uh i'll just focus mostly on ghana that i'll let him secure up to this line i'll push over here and we'll make it work we do have room for one more player so i'll be interested to see who decides to apply for the coalition but let's zoom out a little bit we'll see what's going on at a wider scale we're gonna go into the political view just to kind of see where the conflicts are starting at. So we have a little bit of conflict down here in Nambia, South Africa, and the corner of Botswana. So a little bit of action going on right there. Uh, the Kenya, South Sudan, and... are getting into it. Oh, Uganda. Uganda is an AFK nation, so... It looks like South Sudan is pushing into there, trying to get... Not bad. What's going on out here? Ah. Have Syria making this push. Oh. We have Syria making this push. And a little bit of skirmishes here and there in Europe, as to be expected. Nothing too crazy. It looks like we have... Who is that? We Slovakia and Czech. Uh, is that Czech? Is that, is, is that who's being pushed up on? Oh, no. It's Poland. Poland is being swallowed or is swallowing. It looks like Poland is attacking Czech. Interesting. Okay, so... Very interesting first move. I mean, it's a small group. Uh, Austria is being swallowed by Switzerland. Or quite the other way around. Austria is swallowing. So that's going to be gone soon. Probably take a push for this victory site. We've got oh, the Baltics. Looks like they're being pushed on by Belarus. Interesting. I kind of thought there would be an alliance there, but maybe not. Finland. Interesting. So Finland has already captured the mining facility. Mostly they sent all their troops there. Uh, Russia seems quiet. Uh, they tried pushing here. Afghanistan looks like they captured this oil refinery. 
a little bit of action down here in uh, South Asia, but that's about it. It seems pretty quiet so far for the rest of the, the world. Nothing too crazy, anything going on in the Americas? A little something to something. Mexico is trying to push up into North America. It's got Los Angeles. So that's not, not too bad. A good little grab. That definitely will hurt uh, America because they have the components. I'm pretty sure if I remember, America doesn't have any other... But they only have cities that can produce any of their uh, resources. There's no little, I guess, sections or states if you want to. Oh, say San Francisco is the only one that has another ability, and that's only their electronics. That's going to be hurting America. They're going to have to either up their arms industry over here in Chicago to make up for this loss or find a way to counter get that area back uh, South America about the same it looks like the only action going on through with Ecuador and it seems back and forth Ecuador is pushing down but nothing too crazy they did get one area it got the uh, supplies of Peru but Peru does also have another city that produces they may be lucky if they could up their production but it seems like Purdue may also be Purdue <laughs> Peru may also be another AFK nation, so as long as Ecuador kind of notices that and pushes on, they should be able to grab most, if not all, of that land quite easily. It does look like they had some failure there pushing on this oil refinery. Oh no, they got it. But they also got the oil refinery, which is greatly going to help their uh, units be able to move the oil to move units. That's about it. What? Whoa, what? Chile, interesting. Chile has captured Rio, I can't, Galiux from Argentina. All right. Very nice. So nothing crazy. I'm sure as the uh, next few hours pass, I am going to go to bed and then come back to this in the morning. There is going to be much, much more conflicts. But thank you for tuning in. Uh, hopefully I will see you guys in the next episode. Please leave any comments, uh, you know, like the video if you like what you see, leave some comments if you have any thoughts. Can't wait to see what you all say. Good one.